I know that route isn't secure. Well, it's a chance we're going to have to take. I don't give a damn about the mud. Hold on a minute. How is he? He seems stable, no change. What about the pneumonia? It's too soon to expect any improvement. Stay on top of it. Hmm. Well, that's too damn bad. I want it secure all the way to phase line Julian. These communications are highly restricted, Pierce. Is there anything else? I've got lots of work to do. Wonderful. That means I'll have lots of work to do. You know, your mother's going to ask me if you've been eating enough. Uh, maybe you better put away a little more. Is that an order, sir? That'll be 10 days in the stockade for you. That egg isn't over the hill soon. Thanks for the wagon, Jimmy. What's that? What? You OK? Yeah, sure. I'm still kind of sleepy, that's all. It's hard to get comfortable in this rig. Sir, I really appreciate you taking time out for these visits. I know how much work you got to do. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. You just get well. Back to normal. <laughs> get Dr. Pierce! <coughs> now look, Broder. Hickman's been sawing with that ammunition for too damn long, and I'm just about... How is he? I'll call you back. Well? I'm sorry he didn't make it. What do you mean he didn't make it? He was fine this morning, you son of a bitch! It came on suddenly. A fat embolism somehow got into his bloodstream. It happens sometimes with fractures like that. He was gone in minutes. There was nothing anybody could do. You have any children? No, I'm not married. Kurt was about seven. We moved to Virginia. A big elm tree in the yard, big one. Kurt was always very small for his age, but from the very first day, he tried to climb it. Some days he'd fall, other times he'd, he'd get all skinned up, but he kept trying. And then one day, uh, it was about nine, he finally made it. I don't know who was prouder, him or me. That night he came to me and he said, uh, Dad, can we move away from here? Well, I asked him why. Know what he said? He said, so we can get a house with a bigger tree. <laughs> I barely knew your son. You kneel over a kid for a few seconds in the compound, and uh, if there's time, you read a dog tag and call him by name, but there are too many to really remember. But sometimes the special ones stick out. Kurt was in a lot of pain. But the only thing that concerned him was his men. They thought he was pretty special, too. Thanks. I guess the only thing you didn't like about him was his father. Now, let's, let's just say that we, we see things differently. You may find this hard to believe, Pierce, but I never pushed Kurt to make a career of the Army. It's a tough, tough life. But he wanted to be like his old man. And 
I guess, boy, she's the uniform with all its brass ribbons. He doesn't see the dirt, blood, line it. And I'm sure he felt the way to make me proud was to do as I did, only better. And that's what got him killed. <laughs> you don't know that. If Kurt hadn't volunteered, he would have been drafted. Thousands of kids die here. It doesn't have anything to do with who they are or whether they wanted to be here. room there, pins. They die out there. You can't feel the pain in here. When enough of them die, just remove a pin. So many wars, campaigns, battles, not enough time to give names to the dead. You should die by the numbers. I always knew that somewhere for every number, there was somebody to cry. But I never heard the crying in this room. They were always other men's sons. Will you drink with me, Pierce? Of course. Son. Did you ask my aide to come in here, please? Yeah, sure. This is Collins again. Get me I Corps back. Right away. Rotor, make damn sure that ammunition gets there by 0800. I know the west flank is exposed. I don't have any choice. 